What's up y'all? My name is Dora and thank you for dropping by. Yay! Okay, so today I'm answering the most commonly asked question ever. Will your bath products stain you or your tub? That's a really good question. If it stains you, it's okay because that'll eventually fade. But unfortunately, if it stains your tub, um... Will your bath products stain? Stay tuned to find out the answer as I share all of my research. The most concentrated colorants are dyes. Pure dye straight out of the container has the most potential to stain so wear gloves and protect the surfaces that you're working on. But remember, the dye only has the power to stain if it gets wet and is allowed to sit. Small particles of dye were on the counter, but because it never got wet and soaked in, I was able to wipe it up. Unlike the stains right here, I've tried everything and these stains will not come out. The second most potent form of dye is after it's bloomed and turned into color powder or liquid colorants. This is what I use to color bath products. For that tutorial, click the information icon. Will it stain my tub? It doesn't matter the material of your tub. It matters if the surface has imperfections. The only places I've ever seen stains occur is in nicks, cracks, or really worn down areas where the tub gets used a lot. This is the bathroom where I blend and process color powder. Tiny dust particles fly everywhere. You can see where the dye from the color powder has soaked in tiny cracks in the sink and even nicks in the granite. But color powder is very concentrated, so it's not very likely that a regular bath product could stain like this. My point is that the more porous a surface is or the less smooth it is, the more susceptible it is to staining. The truth is staining a tub is possible, sure, but it's not easy. If it was, my tub would be rainbow colored. I've dumped color powder directly into this old tub and it doesn't have stains. At my old house, my 10 year old tub was exposed to probably over a thousand bath bombs, each one more colorful than the next. And it wasn't until very recently that I noticed a very light pink stain in certain areas that got used and scrubbed the most. I can only assume that normal wear and tear, heavy scrubbing and or tough chemicals compromised areas of the top coat and made those areas more susceptible to staining. I got my husband to go to the old house to take pictures, so I'm sorry the tub is dirty, the pictures aren't great, and you can hardly see the stains, but they're there. But even in this situation, I feel like the stains could have been prevented. Read the description for more. Try to avoid stains in the first place. Always rinse your tub after a colorful bath. Never let a stain sit on the surface. Take care of it right away. The sooner, the better. Will it stain my skin? I use a buttload of dye in most of my bath products. And the only time it's ever stained my skin is if an extremely colorful bath bomb sat directly on my skin for an extended period of time while in the water. And this has only happened twice that I can remember, and the stains were very light. Even Lush's bath bombs will stain your fingers if you hold them in your hand for a while. Will it stain fabric? It should come as no surprise that dye stains fabric. You should always wash stained fabric by itself because fabric that has residual color or dye on it has the potential to dye the entire load. 
Although I've heard about freak accidents where someone's tub or their child looks like a blueberry after using a colorful bath bomb, I've never witnessed anything like that. But my suggestion would be to protect yourself and to inform your customers. Place a sticker on your bath bombs that warns them about potential staining. Can you guess the most dangerous dye when it comes to staining? If you guessed red, you are correct. In my experience, red 28 is the most potent dye color. Check out the description for important information and further reading. All right, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial and or found it helpful, don't forget to, su <laughs> to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Sorry, I got the giggles. Subscribe now for more creative bath inspiration with weekly videos featuring fresh ideas.